So I am a big murder hoe and I really enjoyed the first Elliot Roger video. So now we're making another one. And the last video was like 10 minutes long and it was covering the intro, which is only like two paragraphs. And this is gonna be covering part one, which is like three pages, so buckle up. It's like, I'm not gonna read you word for word. I'm just gonna like pull out the cringiest shit for you. But um, here we are, it's 1991. Elliot Roger has just been born. Cringy first quote. My parents must have been filled with happiness and pride that day. And how you disappointed them, Elliot. How you disappointed. He says that his parents were like young when they had him, but his dad was 26 and his mom was 30. And the way that he like describes it, he says, my father was only 26 when he impregnated my mother. Like gross. I don't want to think of it that way. Ew. And this is the first of many times that we're going to hear about like Elliot Rogers' family background and the stuff that he's really proud of. He's like, yeah, my family used to, my dad's side of the family used to be loaded. Like we're not anymore, but we used to be and it's important. And my mom, she's worked in the film industry and she knows a bunch of people, including George Lucas. So Elliot Roger like not only knows that he was an accidental baby, but he knows like the specific details of why he was an accidental baby, which is like weird. Like, did you ask your parents? Did your parents just tell you that growing up? Like, what was the situation in which you learned this? Like, I I know I was a save the ma marriage baby and it like, I didn't work. It didn't save the marriage. So I understand weird birth conditions, but basically she had been on the pill but she like was taking antibiotics and it didn't work. And the way that he words it is, so their lovemaking during this period resulted in my life. Elliot, stop thinking about your parents having sex. It's weird, it's weird. It's weird and you're making us do it, stop. So Elliot's like a few months old and they took him to France on vacation. Like, can you imagine? I've traveled to France and like Italy and stuff by myself and that like, Traveling there alone is a fucking nightmare. I cannot imagine having a newborn infant while I'm like trekking through France or whatever. Like, horrible. Sounds horrible. But of course, Elliot Roger is talking about this because he like wants to brag about all of his fancy vacations and shit. And he wasn't even like alive enough to remember. And at this point, we're introduced to his beloved grandmother, Ama, who is like, the only woman that Elliot Roger ever likes in his whole life. So I feel like she's important. We'll discuss her more later. Elliot talks about his third birthday party and what he remembers is like throwing a tantrum because some other kid got the first slice of cake and he was like, what the fuck? That was my slice of cake. And even now as like a 20 something year old person, he's like, yeah, that was my cake. Like fuck off guy who gave the other kid cake. Like, dude. You're in your 20s now. Like, you're an adult. Chill the fuck out about the cake. So now Elliot Roger goes to preschool and he's a little shit. Um, he, like, doesn't like playing soccer. So he just stands by the goalie and pretends to be also the goalie. Like, so annoying. He tells us a story of, like, they were taking class pictures and you're supposed to sit, like, cross-legged. And Elliot refused to sit that way. And he complained of her so long that they were like, fine, just like sit how you're gonna sit. And he thinks that it's a funny story. And I'm like, no, you were a little shit. Like, stop being a little shit. Have you ever worked with kids before? Ugh, that fucking kid. He tells this sweet little story about how he used to watch The Land Before Time with his ama and like it was his favorite movie as a kid. And I think that that's like an interesting murder crossover because you know, the little girl who was the like main girl in The Land Before Time got murdered by her dad. Fun facts. He did have his grandfather die on his fourth birthday, which is like a traumatic thing for a kid. Like I imagine that if somebody close to you dies on your birthday, like all your birthdays after that, it kind of like ruined a little bit. I don't know, he was so young, it seems formative. Oh, he brags about how his parents took him on a bunch of vacations and like at by the age of four, I, Elliot Roger had already been to six different countries. Well, fucking good for you, Elliot. 
glad your parents are loaded, has shit to do with you. So his sister is born and he like fucking hates her. He measures everything based on like its proximity to his birthday. Like that's how he knows when things happen. So he's like, she was born before my fifth birthday and I was sick the day that she was born and it was a bad omen because I fucking hate my sister. So his dad decides that they're gonna move to the United States and he's like, we're moving to a different house and Elliot's like, does it have a swimming pool? And his dad is like, yeah, and he's like, dope. And it, he mentions here, which like, it's weird because Elliot is five at this point, like four or five. And he says, my father was given the offer to buy the old rectory for about 400,000 pounds, but he declined a decision he would regret later on. Which like, you wouldn't know that as a four or five year old. So I bet like, it sounds like his dad just like, must have gone on and on for years about like, oh, that fucking old rectory. I should have bought that old rectory. That would have been a good investment. God damn it. And like, I don't know. I feel like it tells me something about him. And of course, like, I want to, I want to clarify, like, I'm making fun of Elliot Roger and his childhood self and stuff. But like, if this had been a four year old who didn't grow up to be a shitty person, I wouldn't be roasting him like this. But because I know that he grows up and murders a bunch of people, like, fuck that guy. Um, so yeah, Elliot Roger is five. It's the end of part one. See you later.